Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. Concrete is a strong and durable material composed of cement, sand and aggregate. Concrete has the ultimate load bearing capacity as we all know that concrete has the ultimate load bearing capacity under compression. Concrete is strong in compression but concrete is weak in tension. So that is why we add reinforced steel along with concrete that becomes reinforced cement concrete. Among all the structural members, slab is the major structural member which consumes more concrete. For example, if we take column or beam compared to those of structural elements, slab Slab is the huge structural element which consumes more concrete. If the load coming on the slab is heavy or the span between the support is more, then we need to provide extra thickness and extra reinforcement for the slab. So that extra thickness increases the self weight of the slab. That means the dead weight of the slab get increased. That increases the overall dead weight of the structure. So this is the conventional method of slab construction process. So, it has some disadvantages if we consider a slab thickness more, slab is consuming more concrete, so that increases the dead weight of the slab. So, in order to avoid or overcome these kind of disadvantages, various studies and research have been taken place and finally they came out with a new technology called bubble tech slab technology. So, the bubble tech slab technology has many advantages. It helps to reduce the dead weight of the slab, hence the overall dead weight of the structure will get reduced. It consumes less concrete when compared to the conventional concrete. So, friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about the new technology called bubble deck technology so without delay let's begin now first let's start with what is bubble deck the method which replaces the concrete by recycled ball with less amount of concrete is known as bubble deck technology the actual construction of the bubble deck incorporates what is known as a biaxial slab so it is a biaxial slab meaning that two wire grids rest on a ball each of these grids can be placed between slabs of concrete with numerous balls closely arranged in appropriate grid form. In this method, virtually we are eliminating all concrete from the middle of a floor slab which is not performing any structural function. Thereby, it dramatically reducing the structural dead weight. So, the highly dense polyethylene hollow spheres put back the ineffective concrete in the center of the slab, thus decreasing the dead weight and increasing the efficiency of the floor. So, the recycled balls are called highly dense polyethylene balls, HDP balls. Now let's look into the invention of this technology. This technology was invented in 1990s in Denmark. Many of the other countries have been using this technology. Let's look into few countries which are using this bubble deck technology which is North America, Denmark, UK, Brazil, Russia, Australia. Next let's look into the materials which is used for bubble deck technology. The materials are reinforced steel, plastic spheres or recycled balls and concrete. Reinforced steel, we can use it in two forms. One is mesh layer for lateral support and another one is diagonal gridder for the support of the bubbles. Next one is plastic spears or recycled bar. These hollow spears are made by recycled high density polyethylene that is HDPE. For reinforced steel, we can use the grade of steel above FE500. Third one is concrete. Concrete is made up of ordinary Portland cement with an aggregate size of 3 by 4 inch and no plastic is required for concrete. Now let's discuss about the installation method of this bubble deck technology. First we need to divide the whole slab area into number of pieces that can be up to 3 meter wide on site axis. Next we need to provide the bottom mesh reinforcement, bottom rebar mesh and then on top of that we need to provide these lattice gridders to support the bubbles and on top of that we need to provide the top mesh. And finally we get bubble reinforcement sand to provide permanent form work within the overall depth of the slab, the bottom layer of 60 mm can be used as precast and then that encasing the bottom mesh reinforcement. After that, these individual elements are stitched together. See here, there is a joint in slab. These elements are stitched together by using loose reinforcement which can be placed in between these joints and after that, the concrete can be poured and cured. So, this techniques create 
create a biaxial slab system by providing structural continuity across the whole area of the slab. Next, let's look into the advantages of this technology. First one is it reduces the overall cost. When compared to conventional slab system, it reduces the overall dead weight of the structure. Hence, it reduces the overall cost. It reduces the 35% of the structural concrete cost. The second one is faster construction. Hence, it requires no farm work. It increases the speed of the construction and compared to conventional method of concrete slab. Third one is low risk. Off-site manufacturing, fewer vehicle trips, crane lift, simple installation. The installation process is very simple when compared to the conventional slab concrete. So these all combine together and reduce the and minimize the operation risk as well as health and safety risk. So as a result of this, all the projects around the world has chosen this technology to build the large and complex projects. Mm -hmm. Last one is lead compatible. It comes under green construction. This technology comes under green construction. It has many attributes. It reduces the overall construction material, use of recycled materials, lower energy consumption, reduce the CO2 emission. These all attributes makes this technology environmental friendly when compared to all other concrete construction technology. Apart from this, this technology has other benefits as well. Bubble deck provide greater noise insulation, thermal and vibration resistance. The precast form work act as a stay in place form work and it provides a good quality finish for the exposed concrete surface. Mechanical electrical plumbing can be integrated within the bubble deck concrete slab. Now let's look into few projects which is done by this technology. Millennium Tower, Rotterdam. Next one is York University Life Sense Building, Toronto. So friends that's all about this technology. I hope you all like this video. Please do comment in the comment box. If you like the content do hit the like button and share it with your friends your comments are always welcome and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos thank you for watching